And Polska in that red corner. Coaching staff with the Polska T-shirts and Maria Martinez Henao of Colombia. With a headscarf that is trailing well out the back of the of the headguard there. Face to face, good stare off. Always a fan of that. So, Pulska, as we know, has already had a taste of this tournament. Not the same for Martinez Hanau. This is her first experience of it. She's had a day off as well, and Pulska boxed on Tuesday, not yesterday, back in action today. So, I think that actually is an advantage because you're into the tournament. You've kind of warmed into it already. You know what it's all about. You know what that ritual, which is slightly different in every venue, is all that about. One. But you've also had that day just to, to get everything back. So I'm Paul Skur in the red. Martinez and now of Colombia in the blue. Well short there with the the one two Martinez and now a couple of times now Pulska looking to try and work away to the body there and just turned Martinez and now and that was I thought that was a good bit of work actually the referee just just having a having a word Stooping in with a jab, or at least trying to there, Martinez and out. She can't really get close enough to Ampulska at the moment. Not much clean has landed from either of them just yet. Ampulska looks full of confidence after that win the other day. Looking for that right hand again, Martinez and out. She commits to it, but she's been short with it. Quite a long way short with it most of the time so far. Smile on the face there of Van Polska. It's not the easiest round to score this so far, though. We're heading towards the final minute, basically because very little clean has landed from either fighter. That right hand was round the back of the head there from Ampulska. I think Ampulska kind of feels like she's, she's bossing things and she's in control, but we're looking for clean punches here. And there's not been too many. Left hand on the inside there from Ampulska. Just working to the body there, and Pulska. Just rattling that rib cage a bit, or trying to, into the final 30 seconds of round one. A little bit careless there, and Pulska. And she came forward, just kind of walked in. Messi towards the end of the round. So the bell goes. As I said, there wasn't a great deal clean landed by either one of them, really. The, the look of it, the kind of dynamic of it, was that Ampulska was, was more the boss in there. And according to our EVA scoring criteria, if you can't separate on clean punches, then then you'll look for tactical and, and technical superiority. 
And then Polska gets the gets the round win, which is having watched that first round, that's what you would expect. But as these highlights kind of show, no one really got through with an awful lot of of clean punching. And that's first and foremost what, what everybody's looking for. Seconds out, please. But as I say, if you don't have that, then then you are looking at things like who looks like they're controlling the fight, who looks like they're dictating terms, even if no one's really landing that much. Also, who's on the front foot, who's looking to be proactive and, and, and make things happen. Into the second round, and Polska of Poland in the red. Maria Martinez and now of Colombia in the blue. So she's up against it, Martinez and now. If you drop the first round in a three-round fight, then it's a problem. Left hand followed by right there from Martinez for now, but Ampulska kind of walks through that. Jab to the body. That little faint smile, never too far away from Ampulska's face. Ponderous with that right hand there, Martinez and Al, but Ampulska was a bit too far out of range to, to make a pay for it. Looking for the jab to the body, right hand up top there from Ampulska. Little shake of the head there from Ampulska. She looks like she enjoys every second of it in there. And just shoulders are off a little bit there, Martinez and Al. The referee didn't seem to notice that. You're not supposed to do that. She kind of looks Ampulska like she feels like she could walk through Martinez for now. She hasn't quite managed to do it yet. She did lead off with a, a good left uppercut a few seconds ago, which did clip the chin of the fighter in blue. Right hand was decent there from Ampulska, just caught her. Caught Martinez and now around the, the side of the head as she was already slightly off balance. The second round's been pretty similar to the first, really. Quite messy. Not a lot of clean work, really. Do you remember? But it's Ampulska. He's on the front foot. Who's initiating most attacks? And he just looks like the more dominant force in the fight. Good right hand there, and she's having a strong finish to the round as well. Those are two good clean punches right towards the end of the round. Just to put a stamp on this one, I think. Ten eight there from Leonid Tanovic. Ten nines from everybody else. So she's one and truly in control of this one, Ampulska. And she will be booking her place in the quarterfinals. Good break between now and the quarterfinals, actually. They take place on Monday. Seconds out, please. Third round. I think they're just fixing that quite long headscarf at the back of the headguard there. 
Did I mention at the start of the fight? So into this third and final round, Karolina Alpulska of Poland. In control of this one, she's in the red. Maria Martinez and now of Colombia in the blue. Has put plenty into this, has worked hard. Nice jab there, stepping into the jab. Was always looking for that, for that right hand. She's never really found the, the range for it, Alpulska. Uses those feet pretty well. Gets onto the inside there, the Polish fighter, and looks to land her own right hand. It has been quite messy at times, but Polska has, has bossed it, really. She's been in charge of this. So what's the issue this time? It's a shoelace. It's a shoelace on those rather striking pair of boots that Martinez and has got on. So two minutes left to go in this one. Women's bantamweight division. Again, just looking for that right hand. She puts plenty into it when she throws it, but she's just never been close enough to land it. Right hand on the inside there from Ampulska. And she's won this with a bit to spare. I don't think she's had to empty the tank here, really. As I said, a good rest between now and her quarter-final, and then the quarter-finals is when it really dawns on a fighter that they're touching distance away. If you win the quarter-final, then you are guaranteed a bronze medal, of course. Good right cross there from Ampulska. Just clipped the chin of Martinez and out. She's run out of ideas a bit here. She's tried hard in this fight. Going to right hand there again from Ampulska. So that goes the bell, and as described, that's a comfortable win for Karolina Ampulska, and she will face Aisha Yolia Baeva in the quarterfinals, and that will be an interesting fight because those are two all-action kind of fighters. We've just seen Yolia Baeva, of course, and we know what she's about. She'll get on the front foot and look to throw that big right hand, and Ampulska will need to have enough to keep her off, which will not be easy. But she's quite open, Yolia Baeva, as she comes forward. So if she can find the accuracy, find the snap in the punches, then you know, she's definitely Ladies beatable. And gentlemen, in the bout number 130, in the ring B, in the women's uh, 54 kilograms, win by points with unanimous decision. From the red corner, Karolina Ampulska, forward. So Ampulska goes through, a popular winner inside the arena. Taking all three rounds with all three judges. And a 10-8 in there for the final round for Sergei Kritosov.